Hi Debirians and welcome to the Labyrinth. In this video we will show you how to play May Escape, a solo game designed by Pablo Céspedes and Victor Hugo Cisternas that lasts around... well, that will totally depend on you, because if you play one map and really fast it's maybe less than five minutes, but if you want to play all the maps on a row and complete all the challenges, maybe more than an hour, so it depends. But before we start with explanations, we have to warn you. Once you open one of those boxes, you will be sucked into a world where time and space were completely different. A strange place where it's easy to lose track of time and where you will have to bend, compress and expand the reality if you want to get out safely. So you've been warned, play it at your own risk. Let's uh, check what we have here. Right now we have two different mayscapes. Labyrinthos and Ariadne. Both work exactly the same, so the only difference is in the maps and their decorations. Also, you can consider that Ariadne has a sort of history as background, and Labyrinthos has a final challenge once you have complete all the maps. But which one to choose, which one is better, that's up to you. You can take both, you can choose the one that looks cooler for you, it doesn't matter, you will enjoy both of them for sure. Let's take a closer look to those boxes. So, once you open one of those boxes, you will find the rules in different languages, the pointer to track the, your path uh, through the labyrinth, and seven independent maps. Uh, because they are independent, you can start with the one you prefer, but here we recommend you to start with the first one, with the number one, because it's the easier one. That way you will get used to the game and uh, well, see how it works. And then follow the right order, uh, just to see how the difficulty will increase every time, and that way you will enjoy uh, the full experience of the game. But how to play Mayscape? It's really easy, in theory. Uh, you just need a flat surface, take the map that you want to play, put it on that surface, making sure that the front and the back are always in contact with the, with the surface, and you start with the pointer in the compass rows. And your goal is to reach the impossible triangle that's your way out of the labyrinth, just following the white path. What does it mean, what's following the white path? Well, you can use the stairs to go up and down, you can pass under a bridge if you can follow the continuity of the white path and also you can use the ladders if you are next to them but you cannot jump from one path to the other okay you cannot lift the pointer from the surface in some maps you can find some doors blocking your path to open those doors first you need to find and take the matching key okay if the door is green the key is green then once you have the key you can come back to the door and you can open it and follow your journey. Also, in some other maps, you can find a teletransportation portal, that one with the sun here. That's the only moment that you can lift the pointer, because you can travel directly from one portal to the other if both are visible. All those side quests are also shown here at the end of the rulebook. So, here you can mark your progress and also write the time that takes you to complete the labyrinth. Uh, that way you can compete against yourself, trying to improve the time, or you can compete against your friends to see who makes the best time. Also, if at some point you are really, really lost in the labyrinth, you can always uh, start over, okay? By refolding the entire map again, if you don't know how to do it, here at the back uh, you have the instructions, and starting again from the compass rows. Also, if you want, you can scan the QR code that will give you some tips to complete the quest. And that's it, that's Mayscape, a uh, really funny but brain-squeezing puzzle where it's easy to lose track of time and forget about the outside world. Uh, well, we hope you have enjoyed the video, if you have any comments or suggestions leave them down here or in our social networks and hope uh, to see you in the next one. Okay. Keep playing, bye! Okay, so well, that's it. Yeah. It wasn't bad for being my first video, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so uh, the only problem is that it will be a short video and I still have time, so... What is it? 
What if we play a quick one? What do you say? Let's go in. Uh, so, we start from the compass rows. It's important to remember where the triangle is because sometimes you start running in circles, you don't know where to go, and maybe you are in the opposite side of the triangle. So, uh, let's try to remember that. And oh, I don't know, let's start that way. We can unfold that section. Mm, yeah, looks promising so far. Uh, here. Uh, that's it? No way. Oh, maybe I did something wrong. No, fantastic. Okay. Try to beat that time. <laughs> 